Hey guys, what's up? So I'm going to show you guys something cool today, and this is how to port forward your Minecraft game. Now I know this video is not going to be uploaded till like January 7th, but anyways, it's the New Year's right now. If you look, it's January 1st, 2012. Happy New Year's, guys. I'm sorry I'm late on saying this. You know, I can't really upload videos right now, but anyways, January 29th is my birthday. Yes, I'm so excited, but anyways, let's go ahead and do this. Port forwarding is really simple. Now, I used to struggle all over the past. I looked at many tutorials, and yet I can't get myself into port forwarding myself, and it's really hard. Like, all the tutorials out there really didn't help me. So, that's why I'm going to make a tutorial for you guys if you guys struggled on port forwarding. All you need is two programs just to make sure that you port forward correctly. So, let's go ahead and do this. If you follow this tutorial straight on, and if you don't make any mistakes, and you just listen to exactly what I have to say, then you're going to be able to port forward your Minecraft game and it's really simple. You're going to go into my description and you're going to download simple port forwarding and port forwarding checker. Alright, so it's going to look exactly like this. You go into my first link in the description and you're going to do a direct download right here. So just download it directly right here to simple port forwarding right there. Alright, and then you're going to get port checker and it should be right here. Download our port checker program right here, port check whatever it's called, it's right there, it's number one, and you download that. What you're going to do is right when you download those, you're going to install them, run them, and make sure that they look just like this, an application on your desktop, just like that. Now we're actually going to port forward ourselves right now, so let's go ahead and port forward. We're going to go here to start, search your program file, you're going to type in command, CMD, short for command, CMD, and there's your command right there, so click on that program, and it should open up like this. What you're gonna do is you're gonna spell out IP config, okay? Just like that. IP config, press enter, and you should see a lot of stuff open up. What you're gonna do is scroll all the way to the very top, and now you should see your default gateway right there, and your IP address right there. So you have to know these two your default gateway and your IP address. That's it. So just leave this open throughout the whole tutorial, and now what we're gonna do is open up simple port forwarding the program. Double click, say yes. If it asks you if you want to run the program, just say yeah. And it should open up like this. Now what you need to do is we have to fill this all out. Now this might be the hardest part about this tutorial. It might be the only hard part about this tutorial, really. So what you need to do is you have to know your router's IP. This is your default gateway right here, your default gateway. If it's not already filled out, you're going to put that IP that's in your default gateway right here in your router IP. And now you're going to put in your username to your router. Now, if you don't know your username, ask your parents, ask your sister, ask your brother. I don't know, whoever knows the uh, username. It should be filled out admin if it's not already admin. And the password they give you, I, I think it's 1234. I'm not sure what the password they automatically put in. But you just have to know the password to your router. And that's it, or your modem. So mine is Steven, and my password is just, you know, my password. And to help you, right here is a picture of your router. You could either show the picture or not, but you have to choose your router. So you should see right here, router, you have to find your router. Now, I know there's a lot of routers here. There's a huge list of routers, and yours could be anywhere around here. To best find your router, just go to your modem or your router and look at the little sticker or the little tag, and it should say what type of firmware it is. Mine is an Action Tech firmware, so if yours is exactly like mine, then that's nice. But you have to find your firmware, and the way to find your firmware, let me just go ahead and show you like a live video. So locate your modem or router, it should be located around your house or wherever your mom keeps it. And you have to look around for the sticker or the little tab that shows you what firmware it is. And once you know what firmware it is, go ahead and write it down and remember it. And that's it. Actually, it's just like that. You just have to find the sticker and look exactly what firmware it is. And once you have that filled out, and once you put the IP correctly, the username correctly, and everything else, see, so it just restarted it to admin, so now I have to fill it out again. So once you have all this done, now what you need to do is go to this box right here, and you're going to right-click and put Add New. You have to add a new one. Add New. Wait a little bit. This should open up. Now you're going to put add custom up here in the top. So add a custom. You could call it whatever you like for the name. I'm going to call mine Minecraft. Just like that. Really simple. The type has to be TCP slash UDP. It has to be both of them. All right. The star port, really simple. 25565. That's the Minecraft default port. And you have to put that for the star port and the end port. So put the same exact thing. 25565. Just like that. 
Now the IP address, now this is where a lot of people get mistakes and this is where I, I actually got mistakes. It's really hard. I didn't understand this. The IP address has to be your IP address that's in your commands. Now I have done this many times. I already put this IP. It is 192, one, whatever. It should be somewhat close to mine. But what you're going to do is just click on this little arrow down here and look for it. And it should be right there. If not, then you have to type it in. So just press backspace if you don't already have it. And just type in the IP address that's right here on your commands. should be right there. So once you already found your IP, what you're going to do is you're going to put add. Now hopefully you guys don't get confused. You're going to add that. So add it and now exit it off. And it should be listed right here. So once you filled out everything completely, and this is the hardest part, all right? We already we're already done with the hardest part because this was the hardest part. What you're gonna do is you're gonna update your router. So click on that, and it should be logging into your uh, firmware, and it should be logging into your router, your modem, or whatever it is. And look at this; it's already doing everything for you. At the side right here, it'll say success, fail, maybe. Mine says fail sometimes. But don't worry, uh, mine is Verizon, so it's going to look like this. Yours is going to be totally different from mine. But this program automatically does it for you, so you don't have to be dealing with everything. And it's a really simple tool and program to be using. So after it's done, it's going to say uh, finish adding Minecraft. Now you can look at the list and see if you can find it. And let me look for it. Here it is. Yeah, this is it. You could see that the IP is here and the destination is 25565, and that's correctly. You can see that Hamachi, if you ever installed Hamachi, you'll see the list of Hamachis here, or you'll probably see uh, Gary's mod, because I actually port forward Gary's mod myself. It's re it was really simple. This is this is the port to Gary's mod. So once you port forward everything, this is what you need to do. You have to see if the port is working. You can exit off the simple port forwarding. Now you're going to open up port checker. Double click. Type in the port right here, 25565 at the very top. Just type that in. You can put TCP or UDP. I'm just going to put TCP. Now I'm going to put check me. Wait a little bit. And if it says your port is open, you're almost done. This is the final step. This is the IP that your friends have to put in in your server for them to be able to join. This is where I got messed up and this is where I got stuck. All right. Let's go ahead and open up your server. All right. We're going to open up your server. Move it aside. You're going to open up your server properties. So open up your server properties. We are not going to put this external IP in the properties. We're not going to put that. We're going to just we're going to cover that up. We're going to hide that away. What we need to do is put the IP address that's in your configs, the 192.168.1.2. We're going to put that IP into your properties just like this. Watch. And that's it. You have to put your IP that the command prompt give you right here. So 192 your IP address right there. You do not put your external IP in here. If so, then you will get an error just like me. So you can mess with this, and I'm going to put right here, let's just put a cool server. A cool server. So when I add the server, it's going to say it's a cool server. That's awesome. Now what we need to do is exit off and save the properties. Okay? So leave the port checkers open. You can now run the server. You can exit off the command because we're done with that. We just needed the default gateway, and we needed the IP address. So exit off the command prompt. Now what you're going to do is run the server, double click the server, run it. If you come out with an error that says your uh, server is running on the same port, then you must have messed up the properties. You're not supposed to put the external IP in your properties. You're supposed to put the one that the commands your IP address in your properties. And it's really simple. Now let's go ahead and log into Minecraft. And this is what you need to do. You and your friends have to put in your external IP. This is your final IP. So we're going to go to multiplayer. We're going to add a server. And I'm going to put in IP. And there we go. So now I put in the IP that they gave me right here, the external IP. I'm going to put done. And it should show up at the very bottom. And remember, I put a cool server. Now it says a cool server. And it's open. So now I'm going to join the server. If it says this, a server responded with invalid key, don't worry. What you're going to do is you're just going to try to connect again. And it should work. That's, how, that's basically how to port forward. Now your friends don't need Hamachi. And it's really simple to port forward. All you need is that program. And if you watch the tutorial clearly, you'll best understand how to port forward. And really, there's like no lag anywhere. Let me just go over here and break the block. And it should work. There we go. So now I got the block. And now I'm running on my server. Uh, there's really no one in the server because it's just me. That's basically on how to port forward your Minecraft game. Hopefully, you guys will rewatch the video if you have any issues. I wish I could upload this video as soon as I'm done with it, but I have to wait like six days, so it's going to be stressful. Um, I really just want to go back to making videos like always. Well, I usually do one a day, but now I'm going to try to step it up and try uploading at least two videos a day. Hopefully, I could. So, yeah, guys, hopefully, you guys will enjoy port forwarding. It's really simple. I'm going to go ahead and catch you guys later. Thank you. 
It starts with an itch and a tingle, and then it builds and expands. And suddenly, all at once, my legs won't let me stand. I scratch till my fingers go numb, but my skin never bleeds.